and this is a piece called Cola Wars, A Tale of Two Sodas, two West Side Story kind of gangs facing off with one side's got Coke and the other's got Pepsi. This was a piece that was done in a brand new studio that I finally was uh, sort of able to uh, move out into the world and operate. So not only did I have a lot more space, I think this, just having a bigger workspace made a lot of difference for me and uh, technically. And this was also one of the very first pieces I, I did using uh, slides to, to help me in the layout process. But again, I think it, it shows a mix of what I have a little bit of seriousness and a little bit of humor, I think, that, that hopefully will go towards uh, representing, you know, sort of my thoughts and feelings on pop culture, which is, frankly, uh, at times a little um, sort of ambiguous. I feel kind of, depending on the day, I'm sort of more pro and more anti-advertising than, than I will be on other days. This is a piece from uh, an, my next series of work, which was shown at Diane Ferris in 1994, called Product Placement. In looking at the pop themes and looking at consumerism, I thought I felt that that the food products, you know, specifically fast food products, really were the best symbol of consumer culture because I mean they're literally something that's consumed and sort of as, just as quickly forgotten. And the themes for this show were basically the modern ways that we get our food. Uh, living in the, you know, sort of the time of the late 20th century, there's not a, not a heck of a lot of us. I mean, there's some of us, but the bulk of us sort of got our food from supermarkets and uh, vending machines and convenience stores and fast food restaurants. Those four things I was trying to tackle with this show. So this is one of a series of four pop machine pieces. Uh, and again, I'm working with sort of pre preconceived themes. I guess I'm still working with kind of the mystery factor and setting it against that pop culture background and sort of a Judas kiss, kind of a betrayal sort of a thing. But it's always been my intention to never have a painting that's sort of easily interpreted. People see things a multitude of different ways and different people will give me different interpretations of different works. And this piece called KFC FLG which actually stands for finger looking good, but I thought that was a bit inappropriate maybe as a title. <laughs> this is a pretty important piece uh, sort of in my career. As in the previous thing where I suggested sort of a Judas kiss, I think a lot of my looking at sacred imagery and really seeing the clash between the sort of the secular consumer world that we live in and the sacred world of, you know, sort of the pre-19th century was really made for an interesting contrast. and. and Personally, I'm not an adherent to any organized religion or, you know, or a Christian or, or any sort of uh, kind of uh, overtly spiritual fellow. But I, I really liked a lot of the power of sacred imagery and it really seemed to fit in really quite well with consumerism.